Wow, you guys did a great job on Thank this you. film. This Thank is you. amazing. So let's just start off with your character. So tell me your character and a little bit about them. I'll start with you, Jim. I play Ben Hanscom. Um, he's the more nerdy one of the group. He doesn't have very many friends, and he doesn't think that's a bad thing until he gets friends, and then he thinks it's the most wonderful thing ever. Uh, I play Beverly Marsh. Um, she's a very brave character, and uh, though she secluded herself from everybody else because she uh, doesn't want to get hurt. Um, I play uh, Eddie Kasprak. I was supposed to say I play Jack Razor. <laughs> My name's Eddie Kasprak. I play Jack Razor. And, um, um, I play, yeah, I play Eddie Cashback, and my mom in this is kind of like a big reason why I'm a loser, because she kind of like uh, brainwashes me to thinking that I'm sick and that I need help, when in reality I'm, I'm perfectly fine. I'm just a little bit shorter than the others. Um, and But also my character is a, a lot like brave, and I mean, he's not brave, but he's just he's stronger than, like, not physically, but he's, he's a strong character, yeah. Strong character. Um. I play Bill Denbro, and he, in the beginning of the, the book and the movie, he loses his little brother, and um, everyone, everyone except for Bill, even his parents, acknowledge that he's dead, that his brother is dead, but he wants, he wants him to be missing, he wants him to still be alive, so the reason why he goes after Pennywise and tries to fight him is because he, in hope, to find his his little brother. Mm -hmm. Now, what is it that what is the common theme with all your characters that actually bonds you in this group? And you you talk about the losers. Tell us a little bit about the losers. Well, we're all misfits and outcasts in one way or another, and I think that 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 really brings us together because we can all relate to, to one another. Yeah, um, I think each of us um, has experienced loss and hurt and having to fight through um, every day. Uh, so I think that's actually the reasons that we got together and the reason why we are the ones right to, fit the uh, to fight the clown because he embodies fear. And so we are the only ones who have uh, fought fear in every, li every day in our daily lives. So um, yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, kind of just like, like going off of that, um, we are just outcasts and underdogs, and we all are like perfect for each other. Um, that's why we're the losers. We all struggle with bullying, problems at home with our parents, and um, so, and they're all they're all problems that have occurred because of because of Pennywise being there, and so that's that's kind of why why we have to to fight against him because to make our to, to stop him from killing and eating other children, but also to, to stop our, just our everyday problems. Now, how would you, in the simplest of terms, how would you describe what Pennywise is? I think he's kind of like the default of it. Like he's kind of, so there's it, who's an entity uh, of just that uh, feeds off the town of Derry, and then there's Pennywise, it's kind of, Everyone's afraid of Pennywise, so you can't really go wrong with Pennywise. Uh, so I think that's what who Pennywise is. Yeah. I think he is kind of like he's fear. He is fear. <laughs> but he's also not just fear. He's also um, inviting because he um, to little kids he seems like a, a normal clown who wants to give you cotton candy and. Um, who wants to entertain you, but um, he's so likable that when the moment is right, he'll, he'll bite your arm off. <laughs> <laughs> now, he's terrifying in this film. Uh, did, what, when you were shooting the film, when, what was your first encounter with Pennywise? Is he as creepy in person as he is on screen? Oh, yeah. Yeah. But it's, at the same time, it's hard to be afraid of him just because Bill's such a nice guy. Mm -hmm that it's like, we just talked a few hours ago about my school and, and how my life was. And so it's kind of hard to be scared of him at the same time. Yeah, yeah. but I think um, he is, even though he, he is very nice, Bill, but he was kind of um, 
secluded from us, so we didn't really get to talk to him and get to know him, um, which is a good thing. <laughs> but um, wish wish we would have talked to him more. But then, when he's when he is Pennywise, it's easy to to be afraid of him. Yeah. Now, you all have a great chemistry on screen, so there must be something behind that. Were you able to? Did you know each other before? Or were you able to spend some time together before shooting that, that sort of created this? Two weeks before shooting, our, our acting coach, Ben Perkins, shout out to him, awesome guy, he, he kind of put us through this little, this little boot camp of, of getting to know each other, I guess. We did, we did exercises of like staring into each other's eyes for three minutes straight, no talking or anything. That was really awkward, but was that, it, got us, it, got, yeah. it got us to know each other. And then we'd have like sleepovers and we'd hang out after work. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we just take walks around Toronto mm -hmm. yeah. for a shot. Um, and yeah, it was really, really, it's like one of the best summers of my life. I think the number one best summer of yeah, my life. Yeah, for, sure. for sure. And like, um, I remember the second day, second day being with them, I felt like I knew them forever. And that's not even an in, in exaggeration or anything. I, I remember feeling that way. I fe I remember feeling so close to these people. I don't know why, I don't know how it happened, but it did, and I'm happy that it did. Yeah. Now, were any of you familiar with the original story before you came on to this? Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you were I've heard about it like once or twice, but never really uh, thought much about horror in general until after this uh, came out and uh, after I uh, worked on it. Um, there was a big fan base that I never even heard, never <laughs> even knew that uh, existed until after this, and so many people who who lo is in love with like horror horror films, and I never really knew much about the genre until now. It's very interesting. Mm -hmm. It is. Now, do any of you have any particular fears of your own? Um, maybe like getting possessed by the devil. That's kind of scary. I don't have one. No? I'm very, 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 very claustrophobic. <laughs> Um, I am afraid of drowning and um, being suffocated in any way. It's just yeah, those are good fears. Not mine. So, what what are audiences in for when they see this film? Do you feel a roller coaster of emotions? <laughs> yeah. You think that you can yeah. take a breath and then it hits you right back into it. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it's in. I expect you to be very, very scared. and You'll be screaming a lot, but but also you'll feel for for each of these characters and. And you'll want them to, to prevail and, and kill Pennywise because you just you see the relationship and um, it's it's a real relationship. It's too. kind of like the Goonies, except in times a yeah. hundred and yeah. With a killer clown and killer clown. That's it. Yeah. Sloth. That's great. Well, you guys did a great job. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Hey horror fans, here are some cool facts from horror movies. Now rather than risk a breaking continuity, Sissy Spacek slept in bloody clothes for three days while filming the prom scene in Carrie. And did you know that Stephen King based Carrie White in Carrie on two girls he knew while at school? Both were social outcasts from deeply religious families and both died while still in their 20s. Hmm. Now have you seen Carrie? Did you like it? Let me know in the comments below and remember to subscribe to our channel and check the notification bell to keep up to date on all the latest releases.